Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel. Thanks for stopping by. And if you're enjoying the content, I ask that you kindly take a moment to subscribe to the channel so I can keep bringing you more pop culture commentary that you didn't ask for. And also, so I can keep feeding my kids. I mean, do you know how much the cost of a Happy Meal at McDonald's is these days? Anyway, the Toy Fair 2019 coverage for Mattel's Jurassic World line showcased some interesting updates to last year's original Fallen Kingdom series of dinosaur toys. I'm talking about a subset so awesome, they created a whole new English word to describe it. The Roryverse. Roar! Now these pictures from the new Roryverse line come courtesy of the awesome Jurassic Outpost site. Let's get to talking about them. So anyway, the first series of Roryverse dinos contain a batch of all new sculpts, including the Metriacanthosaurus, the Allosaurus, the Triceratops, and my personal favorite, the Baryonyx. Now all these dinos were really hard to resist at retail as they had very detailed bodies and a cool roaring sound feature. But if you bought any of these things, you'll know that they had one issue that prevented them from achieving true dino awesomeness. So, pressing a button on the creature's back would cause an electronic roaring sound to emit from the creature's mouth. The problem is, when the dinosaur is in static mode, it would just hang there with its mouth open. Like, seriously? So here's my Baryonyx figure. As I mentioned, the Baryonyx is my favorite and I thought it was a really great dinosaur bad guy in the movie. Actually, the Fallen Kingdom movie had three really evil sort of dinosaurs. The Baryonyx, the Carnotaurus and the Indoraptor. But the Baryonyx had the best introduction I felt and the scene where it emerged from the tunnel to stalk and shred Claire and that whiny kid from Detective Pikachu was just awesome suspense. The Baryonyx, to my understanding, is a somewhat hard-to-find figure these days, so if you never got it, you can just look at mine. Okay, so about that sound function, if you've never heard it, this is how it goes. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Very cool. In fact, I think it has different sound variations the more times you press it. Just keep pressing. But that mouth. What's up with that mouth? It's supposed to stay close before it roars. Not roar to keep its mouth shut. Now this looks like he's about to throw up. Blah! So when the images of the new Roryverse figures were shown, I was excited to see a repainted Baryonyx and Allosaurus. And I frankly like the new color schemes. Especially the burning red on the Allosaurus which reminds me of the giant T-Rex toy from Kenner's first line of Jurassic Park toys. But here's the thing, the damn mouths are still open when it's in stalking mode. So it's walking around looking like it wants to talk to you. Now if you ever saw a human being walking around in standard non-talking mode with his mouth open, you'd think that there was something a bit off about the person. You'd suspect that the person was crazy. But it seems to be okay for dinosaurs. You ever see crocodiles at the zoo enclosure? Ever notice how they sleep with their mouths open? I used to think that it's because they were waiting for their prey to just walk into their mouths. But it's actually to help them cool down as crocodiles do not have sweat glands. Now leave a comment below if you already knew that. So maybe the Baryonyx and the Allosaurus are just trying to chill themselves out. Or you can pretend that they are. Interestingly, in Series 2 of the Roryverse line, Mattel introduced the Soterosaurus. So this thing has the same growling function. Only it works the correct way in that its mouth stays close until the point 
you decide it has to roar and press the button to let its jaws open. Now, in the newly announced repaints for 2019, we have a Ceratorus as well. So, in the same wave, we will have two dinos that snap their mouths when they growl and one dino that correctly roars when its mouth is open. I guess nobody cares about details like this, but I just thought that this was a chance to give us a new, alternate, closed mouth Baryonyx. But no, it just didn't happen that way. Now I know there's a do-it-yourself method shared online where you can jam a plastic tab under the Baryonyx's neck to keep it closed in normal conditions. But guys, come on. Do you want your dinosaur walking around with a plastic strip sticking out of its neck? Now why couldn't a manufacturer get it right the first time? Or at least the second time? Hey, so guys, I'm really interested to know what your thoughts are on the new Raw Reverse repaints and even on the original batch of toys that came out. I look forward to reading your comments. Now, thanks for joining me and I'll catch you guys again real soon.